It was decided just earlier this month that the Kern County Fair would not be happening in 2021. The fair board voting to postpone the event until 2022, but it appears the discussions are not over yet. 23 ABC's Austin Westfall joins us from the Kern County Fairgrounds with more on the possibility that a fair could still happen this year. Austin? Yeah, Brenna, it was thought at first that a Kern County Fair was not going to be possible this year because uh, the mass vaccination site uh, hosted by the Kern County Department of Public Health is right here at the fairgrounds. But Kern County officials made it very clear yesterday that it's possible for both this vaccination site and uh, a fair to coexist. And if they decide to do it, we will accommodate uh, with our operations out there. It was at the Tuesday Board of Supervisors meeting that Kern County Administrative Officer Ryan Alsop announced that the county would be open to the idea of helping bring back a Kern County staple in 2021. The county is not standing in their way. At no time have we let them, uh, told them not to have the fair. That's their decision. Uh, the county has decided to relocate um, by September 1st. Alsop's words came as news to the Kern County Fair Board of Directors. Chairwoman Blagi Rodriguez saying the decision to postpone the fair was a matter of space because the fairgrounds are the home of Kern Public Health's mass vaccination site. Now that it appears the space will open up, so does the possibility for a fair. It'll be a matter of our, our staff putting together what it's feasible and what's not, and then us having that discussion as a board. The Kern County Fair says it's operating revenue in 2020, including revenue from special drive through food events and from leasing the fairgrounds to the county for its mass vaccination site, totaled about $2.4 million. Without a fair this year, officials estimate the fair's revenue would be about $1.6 million, much of it coming from leasing costs of the Kern Public Health mass vaccination site and the Kern County swap meet. With a fair, the board has estimated revenues of about $6.6 .6 million. The board has called a special meeting taking place on Friday, June 4th to discuss options for organizing a potential fair this year. COVID guidelines will be one of many hurdles that will be discussed. Any event that has over 5,000 people, they have to provide proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test. And we will uh, work with them uh, during that time to continue to provide testing, free testing for the for the fair goers, free vaccinations for the fair goers. And health guidelines aren't the only challenge. Time is too. Typically, a fair takes 12 months to plan and they'll have to not only plan, but pull it off in three. Now, the fair did have to lay off a significant portion of their staff in order to uh, remain afloat during the pandemic. They do say that one good thing that came out of the vaccination site being here, though, is that uh, the Kern County officials pumped uh, around $700,000 into improving various things around this uh, uh, plot here, including some of the parking lots and upgrading their Wi-Fi networks, among other things. In Bakersfield, Austin Westfall, 23BC, connecting you.